Well, hi there. I'm Sue, and this is my YouTube channel, Sue Turan and Alexander 6520. Just the address that YouTube gave me. Anyway, I have a Stitch Fix unboxing for you to view with me. I received it on Friday late. I didn't get home from work until 8 o'clock. So I didn't open it right away, and then I had to work Saturday and Sunday, and today is Monday, May 1st, 2023, and I am off from work, so I thought it was a perfect time because I'm going to run to the post office and return what I don't want. I am keeping a few things, but not everything. So Stitch Fix, as you know, you fill out a style profile of what you like and don't like and your sizes and so on. They are set up to send items for women, children, and men. Um, I specifically ask for petite clothing since I'm only four foot 11. They always fit me better than I find in shorter, of course, in the arms and the legs and the body, whole body and everything. Um, it's free shipping both ways. They do send you that priority envelope ready to go. I take it to my post office because I do like to get a receipt. I've never had any issues, but there's always a first time. They send you a note along with styling suggestions. They send you five pieces. They do send you a preview of 10 items. You pick five. If you don't like five, if you only pick two, they surprise you with three other things that you've not seen until you receive it. Um, there is a styling fee for every shipment you get, and you can do it uh, like I do it on demand, or you can do it monthly or quarterly, what have you. Um, I do have the style pass, which is $49 a year. So I don't pay every time I get a shipment, but I do get to apply that $49 to whatever I purchase. The same as if every shipment you get your fee charged, you apply that to whatever you're keeping. So you don't lose any money. And for me with the style pass, if I don't pick anything at all, ship it all back and that's a done deal. So anyway, um, Last time I kept everything and we call that a five for five. Um, this time, unfortunately, it's not everything and that's okay because the budget doesn't always allow to get five things. However, when you do keep all five that they send you, you get a 25% discount. So that always helps. Sometimes Stitch, stitch Fix math um, works out in your favor and you can keep something that you don't really want to sell it on Poshmark. I do have a Poshmark account and sometimes I sell things there that I'm either tired of and or don't fit me one way or the other. Now this stylist here is Kara, K-A-R-A. -A, so thank you, Kara. Uh, she says, welcome to your 19th fix, Susan. So I've got 19 shipments, not all consecutively, sometimes spaced out for six months and then I get another one. It's whatever, you know, floats my boat. Um, she says, we are grooving right into the summer, which reminds me, what is the fashion era that you love the most? I don't think I have an era that I like the most. I like all kinds of different things. What were the styles that you want to try now? Let me know and I'll try to do my best to find some updated versions of those styles in your summer fixes. Summer is all about playfulness, so let me know. Also, do you need any fun embellishments for your closet this season? Thanks for taking a look at the fix preview and leaving some notes. The better fixes you get based on, uh, you know, what kind of notes you leave for your stylist. Um, she said, you loved cargo shorts. I don't remember doing that, but anyway, she said, so I added the cargo capris to wear with the keyhole knit top from Bobo. Funny that the capris are not capri on me since I'm only four foot 11. So that's kind of funny. Um, then she said the Jill Michael earrings are unique and fun to pair with the pink clover button back top. I'm looking forward to your thoughts and can't wait to jump in with you for your next fix. In the meantime, let me know if there's anything else I can keep an eye out for. All right. So anyway, like I said, these are the style cards that they send with the items. There's a separate piece of paper. With your stylist picks and prices and how much the discount would be if you kept everything. Like if I kept all five items, my 25% discount would be 63.75, totaling 191.25, which I'm not gonna do. Um, but, oh, I didn't mention the styling thing. This, <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't talk. The styling fee, if you don't have the annual pass, is $20. All right, so let's see what I have. Um, 
comes all nicely bundled like this, except I was anxious to try everything on. And so I opened it all. They also have freestyle where you can go on and, and buy some items that they have listed too. All right, put that on the floor. They also sent a little card with three spring trends you need to know. Uh, it says, loving these trends and you need these five items. So anyway, Elevated Essentials, Garden State, Prep School. Okay, she says you need an oversized blazer, a floral maxi dress, wide leg pants, a striped sweater, and a pleated skirt. Whatever. Okay. All right. So, first item, going to be earrings. These are, the brand is called J. Michael in collaboration with Stitch Fix. The guy that cuts my grass just arrived. Anyway, okay, so they're a combination of gold tone and silver tone. Um, they're $29. They just don't float my boat. I mean, they're cute, but I don't feel like spending money on those. And I'll show you a picture of those. I kind of tried to take a picture myself. So... I don't think much of those really. They're all right, nothing's wrong with them. Someone else might like them, but I'm not go going to, so I put them back. Okay, my next item is this green. Let me see what it's called. So those were the Jill Michael Talia wavy double huggy hoop earrings that I just showed you. Next, I have this top by Market and Spruce. It's called the Lily Cozy Crew Neck brew which i know stands for brush knit its color is dark green it is not a petite top it's just a regular missus size this is it on me um it's just plain it has a crew neck it was nice and warm it could be good probably for a british house cruise not here for atlanta in in may but um and it wasn't that expensive oops it was a decent price, but I just don't think I need it. I'd rather spend money on other things. Anyway, so here's the top. It's just, like I said, a brush knit crew neck. Um, sleeves are long, just a regular little banded cuff. And the bottom is the same way. Just has this banded bottom. So it's very nice and it feels very soft, but... Maybe for someone else, but not for me. Not now. All right, the next piece is the top by Bobo, which is a three-quarter sleeve keyhole knit top in blue. It's a it's a print. Um, it's $54. Here's the picture of me wearing it. As you can see, shows a little too much cleavage shows my ladies there. So for that reason, I'm not keeping it. I kept trying to adjust it, you know, but it didn't stay, it kept going lower. And I'll show the top to you. I do have a birthday this month, so I'm getting older, but it's just as, looks like an older style to me. Uh, see, there's the keyhole. In the front just plain on the bottom just a straight long sleeved it's very soft if you like this um, it's blue with like navy blue floral doesn't do a thing for me so so far going back earrings green top blue floral top all right my next item is i'm sorry i just can't get these pieces of paper since i don't know how to do all the editing and captioning and everything i have to do it this way all right the next one is this top that's one two three yeah four five okay now this is called the 
Pink Clover. It's like also a brush knit like that green one was that I don't want to keep. It's called the Abbey Button Back Key <laughs> Button Back Knit Top in Brown. It's an, a petite. So that's what I like well, when they send the petite items. So it's an animal print. It's crew neck, long sleeves, banded with like a black cuff. The bottom is curved a little bit. And then the back has decorative buttons. It's not real, they're not real buttons. They don't open and close. But the, so this is the back, okay? And then the elbow patches. And since it's petite, the elbow patches match up with my elbows. One time a way back, and I don't know if it was Stitch Fix or one of my other boxes that I subscribed to, um, sent me a top. It was a sweater. It was the winter time. Had elbow patches, which were very cute. But since it was a regular Mrs. Size, the sleeves were, like, were down to here, way, way past my hand. And so the elbow patches were more like at my wrist. I explained that to them saying, I'm very petite, so my arms are also very short and that's, this just won't work. But this is cute. Um, it'll be really great in the British Isles, I think, but it would probably be too warm for here in Atlanta in May and June. So I am going to keep it. That's one of the requested items that I had on my preview, that one. And actually that green top that I said, I'm not keeping. So, I mean, the green top I could have kept, but it just wasn't exciting me enough to, to spend the money on it when I have all these expenses for traveling coming up. So, and then the last piece is something that I have on. Well, let me just show you pictures of this blouse. Here's the blouse with me holding my elbow up, showing the brown suede patch matches my elbow. Okay. This is me showing the back, how the buttons come down here. That same top. Now the pants, the next one are of the pants. So now these pants are by Cosmic Blue Love called the Rue Ruched Back Cargo Pant in red. Um, I wouldn't really call it red. I think it's more of a rustish red coral sand you know kind of color it is hard to describe but i don't think i would call it red and they are petite there are supposed to be capri cargo capris but they're long on me they're full length they're the most expensive item in the box now here's where i had an issue these pants are very comfortable i like them they're different from anything that i have um but they are pricey but since they're different and they feel like I have, have had them on for an hour probably now, really comfortable. I think they'd travel well on my trip and I think I can wear them to work too. So, or just casual summer pants. They're just, I don't know the fabric and I have them on so I can't tell you what they are made of, but they're very comfortable and more of like a cotton type. I don't know if they're cotton or not. So, If I can back up enough to show you. So here's the pants. They have a pocket on the back, which I don't really need to emphasize back there, but I think they're cute. So I don't know. If you can see them, just have bare feet on. They come down to my ankles or they're full length. Now, this top that I'm wearing right now is by Nine Britain. I probably got it a year or two ago. I think it matches. And the top I was wearing earlier today is also a brush knit, but this is from Old Navy last year. Probably paid, paid less than $20 or $15 for it. Now look at the color. So if I wanted a monochromatic look, that would work. And then I have this little t-shirt that I got on sale at Kohl's. It's striped, I don't usually like striped, but the colors on this, I just really liked. It's black and like rust and mustard and light blue and light mint green. I thought this goes too. And I actually have one or two other tops that could go with these pants. 
So, here's a picture. I had the, the button back top on still in this picture. There's the pants. Now here's the same picture with me wearing that clothes top. Here's another one of me with that top that I said was from Old Navy from last year. And finally, just kind of a side view, back view of the pants. So that's it. So thanks for watching. Um, so I will be keeping these pants and this button back top. And that's it. And I will be taking it to the post office in a little bit. Dropping off the package and sending on its merry way. Actually just goes to a Stitch Fix warehouse here in Georgia in Lithia Springs, Georgia. Um, which I can't even tell you exactly where that is because I've never been there, but um, it's a warehouse in Georgia. So they'll get it pretty quickly because it goes priority. So anyway, I'm debating about whether I'm going to be staying with the annual pass with Stitch Fix or continuing with Stitch Fix and just paying the $20 when I get a, a fix, a shipment, a fix, or just canceling it all together because I hadn't done Stitch Fix Stitch, I can't stay, say Stitch Fix too much. Stitch Fix, I hadn't done Stitch Fix for a while, and then I did it. And then I had, like I said, that last month was all five items I kept that I really liked. And then um, this one, so I'll keep two. But again, like I said, I have all these expenses coming up. I will fly out on May 28th, and today's May 1st, so I don't have much time to get everything together and decide what clothing I do want to take with me because it'll be much cooler in the British Isles like Scotland and Ireland, England, London, uh, just all these different towns and everything. Um, so I won't be wearing the same clothes that I would be wearing for a summer day here outside in Atlanta. So I have to give it some thought. So subscribe to my subscribe. <laughs> I am having an issue with my voice subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already if you have subscribed thank you very much I do appreciate it please comment below um, all comments are welcome keep them respectful please and uh, that's it so have a good evening have a good overnight and have even a better tomorrow thanks for watching I really do appreciate it bye bye